YouTube. Thanks for checking in to Women of Science. I'm Skeptic Lisi, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about an outstanding ophthalmologist, scientist, and inventor, Dr. Patricia Bath. Alright, you know how this works. First, we're going to get all down and dirty with Dr. Bath's whole life story. Bath originally hailed from Harlem. Her mother was a domestic worker who put away her salary for her children's education and bought her daughter her first chemistry set. While her father was a merchant sailor who taught his daughter all about the wonders of traveling the world and different cultures and all that. Yet another overachiever, Miss Bath was the editor of her high school science paper and she graduated in only two and a half years. She also earned a scholarship from the National Science Foundation and as a teenager she worked on a cancer research project at Harlem Hospital. Through this work, Bath derived a mathematical equation for predicting cancer cell growth. Her mentor was so impressed with this that he actually incorporated her work into a presentation he gave at an international conference. And she was recognized for her efforts in this project with a merit award from Mademoiselle magazine. Patricia Bath ended up attending Howard University College of Medicine, where she was the president of the Student National Medical Association, and she earned fellowships from the National Institute of Health and the National Institute of Mental Health. Now, during her fellowship at Columbia University and her work at Harlem Hospital, Bath became aware of the disparities in optical health among African American patients. She realized that her black patients were twice as likely to suffer from blindness and eight times as likely to develop glaucoma. But Bath was able to persuade her professors from Columbia to operate at Harlem Hospital Center, which had previously been unable to even offer eye surgery. They did this at no cost, making Bath a pioneer in community ophthalmology, a system which has allowed more people access to necessary eye care that they otherwise wouldn't have been able to afford. So, Bath is primarily known for two things. The first is that she co-founded and served as president for the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, an institution which asserted that eyesight is a basic human right. The other thing that Bath is known for is her inventions. In fact, Dr. Bath is the first African-American woman to receive a medical patent in the United States. Her most famous invention is the Cataract Laser Feco Probe. This probe allowed doctors to more effectively and painlessly remove cataracts. Before, they had to use a drill. Bath also created another invention to supplement the probe, and this invention allowed her to restore eyesight to people who had been blind for over 30 years. Hell yeah! Altogether, Bath now holds a total of four patents for her various inventions. In 1993, Dr. Bath retired from her work with UCLA's Medical Center, but she still continues to serve as an honorary member of their staff, the first woman to do so, and she still directs the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness. She is also a member of Hunter College's Hall of Fame and a recipient of Howard University's Pioneer in Academic Medicine. Alright, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and be sure to come back next week for a brand new Women of Science. Thanks for watching. Bye!